Good morning, folks. We begin with the death of a comet. Yesterday, we saw a brightening event on its way to the sun, and it lit up our satellite view. But today, we can see it break up, vaporizing in the following hours on closer approach. Today, we've got multiple eruption threats on the sun. We locate the start of something about to become epically important for the future of understanding our planet. We hit the climate, star water, and the second sun. But let's start with the first one. Let's check out the last 24 hours on our star over at spaceweathernews.com. We're finding a calm disk in general, without solar flare flashes or large ejections. There are a few sunspots, but they are not flaring at all, isolated from one another on opposite solar hemispheres. Alpha magnetism, one negative, one positive. They do have plasma teleconnections, but that's not what makes spots flare. Zooming in a bit closer on the solar tornado we saw distending yesterday. It's a full-on plasma rope now, and he's brought a few friends in with him behind him. These are elevated eruption threats in terms of CMEs, and I'll be monitoring the dark filaments today. Meanwhile, the solar wind stream from the Earth-facing coronal hole appears to have arrived a half day early. Managed to do so without significantly increasing stream intensity at the start. We have jumped back up in speed, the purple line, but just climbing up to the stronger levels this morning, so the next 6 to 24 hours will be watching for those geomagnetic storms to finally set in had an email yesterday from a government official. He was asking if he could find the starting block for solar forcing on the climate. I made sure he went back far enough that he wouldn't miss anything. That's linked for you as well below. Worth a read. Up next, the neutral oxygen emission of our star contributes to all known elements being found within the streams of the solar wind and also explains a source of water production and flare and CME events, especially traveling through the electric current sheet of the solar wind. April global temperature update is out. Again, if you see people sharing the one with white patches all over it, that is the less honest one. Nice real mix of hot and cold. And something we'll discuss today on the website podcast is how it seems there is always the highest temperature extremes at the North Pole, going both ways and driving most of the extreme climate claims that you hear. None could be made without the Arctic. None. We'll discuss why that's happening in a few hours on the podcast, but first, folks, I do feel a bit icky doing this, but if you haven't learned how people are faking second sun shots across the world, you put as many layers between you and the light source as possible, most phones have enough in the device already, zoom in all the way, and slightly tilt off kilter. I did this video while on tour in the Mobile Observatory in late 2015. The second sun apparently does not care about palm trees. The second sun image is actually inside the camera lens and nowhere else, which you should be able to discern when I let the tree cover the sun, and the same cutoff side can be seen in the reflection to the right as well. I have indeed been neglecting to debunk things recently that are running rampant through the community. Last time I ignored the con men this long, the fake fear stories nearly gained unstoppable inertia. If you don't like the debunkings, ask yourself why. Upset a bit with yourself? I'm not saying people's names because attacking them won't help. It sustains them. I'm doing this because the plan is to push this approaching Second Sun story in a major way in the coming months. You can just see it coming. And you need to be able to deflect the nonsense because the time is coming very soon where every minute you will have will be valuable and you can't waste them. As I mentioned before, the podcast for members of SuspiciousObservers.org will be posted in a few hours. We've got your weather wind maps upcoming, followed by shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.45 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone. <laughs>